I'm going to demonstrate now is range of motion of the carpal metacarpal joint and the MCP and the IP of the thumb in this video. Okay? So what I'm going to do is for the CMC joint, the options of movement we have are abduction, adduction, flexion, extension, and opposition. Those are our choices. So we're going to do each one of those ten times and we're going to keep it slow. So I'm starting out with abduction, coming back to adduction. And you'll notice that I'm, I'm either at the metacarpal phalangeal joint or below it in the way I'm moving. I don't, I'm not going to try to move out here. Abduction and adduction. Abduction. Can you help me out, Rick, and pull it back for adduction? Now let's go all the way out that way. Great. And come back in. Okay, now we're going to swap motions this time. We're going to come back to you for extension and then all the way across for flexion. Good job. And back out for extension. Now just relax and let me show what it looks like without you. Good job. And flexion. And back into extension. And back over into flexion. And all the way back out into extension. And then for opposition, I'm going to put his, put his little finger in place. And we're going to try to get over and touch it. One. Can you count with me, Rick? One. Okay. And two. Two. Good. And three. Three. Excellent, Rick. So you'll go through each of those ten times. And now we're going to move to the metacarpal phalangeal joint and the IP joint. So the only th motions available there are flexion. Relax, Rick. You relaxed. Flexion and extension and flexion and extension at both joints. So I'm going to hold proximally and move distally for flexion into extension and back into flexion. Does that feel like all you can go over on that one? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Extension and into flexion. And back into extension. And ten times at each. And now we'll move to the last joint the IP joint of the thumb, and you can just about get 9 degrees of flexion the IP joint. And extension. Flexion. And extension. And again, you want to keep your pace slow. And we're going to go 10 times. Okay, this time Rick, help me out, okay? And flexion. One. Great. Back up and pull all the way down. Down, 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 down. Good Three. pop. Okay, good. And all the way down hard. Three. Excellent. And that would continue to 10. And that would be the active range of motion part. So all the time when you're doing passive range, if you can get active range of motion, do. Okay, and that wraps up the thumb.